Hi, I am Tanu Rajput and this is my presentation on Airbnb Booking Analysis. My teammates are Kajal, Naveen and Shivam. So here I am going to talk about exploratory data analysis on Airbnb Booking. Now take a look at our content. Here we will firstly discuss about the interaction, after that description of data and then data cleaning and after that exploratory data analysis. And at last I will be end up my presentation with the result and conclusion now coming to the introduction airbnb was started back in 2008 with the two founders joey gabia and brian chesky and nathan by blechargic was invited later to join and three air matrices in san francisco california airbnb is an online platform that connects host renting out space in their homes and guests seeking lodgings for generally cheaper price than the hotel. Airbnb are cheaper than the hotel because Airbnb doesn't have the overhead cost as hotel does. Do that why that's why Airbnb are cheaper than the hotels. And Airbnb takes three percent commission from the booking and as well as six to twelve percent commission from servicing free from guest. Airbnb covers total 1 lakh cities and 220 countries worldwide. Now, as we move on, we will discuss about how Airbnb works. Airbnb works for host and for guest. In for host, we can say if you have a rent, if you have a room for rent or an apartment for rent, then you you can register your listing on Airbnb and specify some detail like a room size, number of rooms, area, etc., etc. Airbnb will help you to set the average price for your listing and. Uh, that's it and for guests if you are a guest then you can search through the airbnb website through various filters like uh, what is the room size you need uh, you need room type which room type you need uh, which apartment or uh, room you need and etc etc airbnb those filters will help you to choose the best listing to stay now as we move on, we will discussing about the data description. Data description in Airbnb, we will be doing, we will be work on listing reviews and location. In listings, it, uh, it will tell us about the host ID, about the room type, about the availability 365 and uh, what's the price and etc. In reviews, we will, it will, it will tell us about the it will tell us about the reviewing of the guest so here we will discuss number of reviews last reviews and reviews per month and at the last we will discuss about locations we will do some key findings on these attributes listing reviews and location in location neighborhood group neighborhood latitude and longitude are its attribute now further let's take a quick peek at the data here we will be discuss about our data about our data what's the data type we have of our attributes so here we can see there are total 48895 and 16 95 rows and 16 columns here here 16 columns are divided into uh, divided into two parts one is categorical data which is a string and uh, other is numerical data so our data types of these at these attributes data type of these attributes are int float and object now we can see here clearly that the columns containing null values are name host name last review review per month we just do one thing that if we don't need it them then we just drop them by using some method like quantile method or mean median but we use here quantile method method to remove the null values or if we need them then we just replace the null values by zero as we will do in our further analyze now looking at this statistical information we just see here that in every column there is a whose gap between the third quartile range and the maximum value and the minimum value for price is zero so by all this data we can observe that there may be a possibility of outliers in the data set so we will do work we will do working on this to remove outliers now let's 
move to the data cleaning here we will firstly see the number of null values in all attributes of our data set we can see uh, id has 0 name has 16 and so on so on but two columns containing more than 10000 null values which are last reviews and reviews per month we what we see here we observe here that those two columns may create issue for our analyzing or they can give us a wide range data which we don't need it or they can give us useless data so we just do one thing that if we don't need those column we just drop them by using <clears throat> no 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 we just drop them and uh, if we need then we just replace the null values by zero and the columns which have outliers on those we will we will use quantile method to remove them now we observe the null value in present in irrelevant data column so we directly clean the data by dropping certain column though that are not needed for analysis like host name name last review latitude and longitude now here we see the outliers and handling data outliers are the extreme value which are not needed for the analysis or uh, we can just uh, we can just remove them by using quantile method here we can see that column especially price minimum nights calculated host listings and and uh, those these have outliers so we just remove these outlier by using a method named quantile method now we will not taking any action on calculated host listing counts to it contain outliers but uh, and in the availability 365 there is no single outlier so after cleaning the outlier after removing the outliers we can see here that we have now 48796 rows and 11 columns that's it it's our outlier and data handling outlier and handling data and now further we will do some key findings on exploratory data analysis our first key finding is number of airbnb listing in neighborhood group we can see from this pie chart that uh, in manathan there are 44.3 percent listing and in brooklyn 41.1 percent listing in queens 11.6 percent in bronx 2.2 percent and in staten island 0.8 percent now what we observe from here we observe one thing that the chart shows that manathan has the highest number of listing in neighborhood group and after that brooklyn and uh, the least number of airbnb listing in neighborhood group having staten island staten island has the least number of airbnb listing so we will do some analysis and we will see that why manathan has the number of name by where number of airbnb listing is highest in manathan and what will be the expect for related to this now let's take a look of average price of airbnb listing in neighborhood group as we can see from here that manathan again manathan has the highest average price of airbnb listing in neighborhood group now manathan received the highest average price of 194.8 dollar because it's highly in demand we can see here that it's highly in demand that's why its average price is high manathan has the most expensive rentals compared to the others marathon has the most expensive rentals that's why it's highly in the, because it's highly in demand that's why it's also have high in average price now bronx received the lowest average price about uh, of 88 dollar so let's move neighborhood group contain the listing with most review here we will discuss about the who has most review listing now queens and manathan have the listing with most review and uh, bronx has the listing with less review so it can be just clear by these graphs now let's talk about and uh, understand some facts through top host with the highest number of airbnb listing here we can see that uh, this graph shows the top 10 host of airbnb listing with the highest number of listings now the airbnb host id 
टू वन नाइन फाइव वन सेवन एट सिक्स वन हुज नेम सोंडर एन वाई सी हैज़ द हाइएस्ट लिस्टिंग ऑफ एयर बी एन बी दैट इज थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन which is the highest top in the whole nyc now just out of curiosity let's uh, let's see his earning if he booked if all of his listing were booked for one night then what will be his earning then her earning his earning will be 82795 dollars and his average earning will be 253.19 dollar After deducting of Airbnb commission, he will get eighty thousand three hundred eleven point one five dollar. Now you can understand from this that the Sonder NYC has the highest number of listing, which is which shows that he has the top host. He is the top host. Now let's see price distribution of listing in Neverwood Group. Brooklyn has the highest. the density of price distribution bronx has the lowest here this uh, this is plot can show that the highest is brooklyn and bronx is lowest now let's move further and counting the different room type there are three room type available in airbnb first entire home apartment second private room and third one is shared room so in 2019 there are a total of 25381 entire home apartment room type in nyc while shared room are 1123 so what we observe here we can see that the demand of entire home apartment is very high in comparison to other room types now and uh, shared room has the least demand that's why this is the least now as we move further we will uh, we will take a look on data total of different room type in each neighborhood group now from this graph we can see that uh, bronx have the highest of private rooms and manhattan have the highest of entire home apartments and queens have the highest of private rooms and uh, other are similar similar means average average and uh, brooklyn has a higher number of private room space manhattan has a high number of entire home apartments queen have the highest private room staten island and bronx are negligibly shared rooms now from this we can we can understand that the we can understand that the demand of entire home apartment is large in manhattan now average price of each room type each room type as as we see earlier that the demand of entire home apartment was greater was larger that's why it may be possibility that the average price of the entire home apartment will also be larger so that's it most expensive room type is entire home apartment followed by a private and shared rooms and average price of a private private room is like about 50% cheaper than the entire room so now let's 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 take a look on price range of each room type in different neighborhood group we can see from this graph that entire home apartments in all the room types in all the neighborhood group entire home apartments type is larger which is large in demand so the average price of entire home apartments is high which is around 246.5 dollar the average price of entire home apartments in bronx is low which is 127.5 dollar now talking about the shared rooms again manhattan has high compared to other as we can see in this graph clearly now let's discuss what's the total number of listing versus minimum nights here more than 12000 listing provides a minimum night of 1 we can see from this plot clearly that the number of properties in minimum nights of 1 is more than 12000 means more than 12000 listing provide a minimum nights of 1 now we just now see the correlation between columns here the correlation of similar columns will give us bias value that's why we just ignore them 
okay and uh, there is a good relation in a column of uh, number of reviews with the subsequent variable reviews per month giving us a very good relation which is 0.7 but the physical interpretation will give us nothing hence we we have nothing much on this so moving further to the result and conclusion now i will end up my presentation with my result and conclusion now after exploring and analyzing through data and performing visualization we obtain some interesting insights into the airbnb domain manathan has the most expensive booking compared to the other neighborhood group manathan is considered to be the best location why we can see this we can see this on based on the graph of neighborhood group versus number of reviews and uh, which is the busiest host the id 2195178861 whose name is sonder nyz is the busiest host as we know he is the top host listing i consider so this considered to be the busiest host in nyc and he belongs to the manathan now according to our analysis we notice some differences in traffic among different area manathan brooklyn and some part of queens have high traffic of airbnb booking so as a result as a conclusion we can say that the manathan has the highest number in demand highest number of listings and highest in demand that's why he has the highest price and sonder nyz has the highest top listing that's it thank you